Brody, welcome to the D's. Thank you. The deal that involved you was something that was spoken about for quite a few weeks. How did you feel when that trade finally went through yesterday? Yeah, it's been um, obviously bubbling away in the, in the background, the conversations with obviously um, the club and my, my manager and, and Collingwood and um, yeah, I suppose to get to you know the second to last day of, of trade was a little bit nerve wracking, but um, yeah, Tim Lamb was the first person to give me a call and um, yeah, was pretty keen to answer that and he said, yeah, just confirmed that the deal got done and there was, yeah, initial um, relief and then, yeah, start looking to the future and, and getting really excited about, um, yeah, my role and, and what I can contribute to the team. And what made you most excited about moving to the Ds? I think the kit is pretty good. Um, just a, a long, uh, a long history of the club, um, obviously the recent success of, of what you guys have been able to, or what we have been able to be a part of, um, and I'm really keen to, yeah, as I said, contribute in, in that space, and um, yeah, I suppose the midfield is definitely a you know, um, highly sought after elite mix, and um, to be able to rub shoulders with the crew in there um, and make something really exciting for 2023 and beyond. You've had a fair share of time going up against your new skipper in Gorney. Are you excited to be able to work alongside him now? Excited, yes. Um, yeah, nerve-wracking, yes. All of those sorts of emotions. Um, it's really completely new for me. Um, yeah, I've been in the game for a long time, but this is, yeah, this is, um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this for the first time. So I'm, I'm being really um, open and, um, yeah, staying as curious as I can and um, taking each moment as it comes. And this is my first day uh, wearing the Melbourne colours. Um, it, feels, uh, it feels really, um, it feels, uh, yeah, awesome to, to, to come in. And yeah, my head's still spinning, to be honest. It happened, you know, less than sort of 24 hours ago. So um, yeah, lots of emotions, but the overwhelming sense is, you know, excitement and, and real gratitude from uh, Melbourne. Um, you know, speaking to Simon Goodwin throughout the process, um, it became really evident that, yeah, they saw some value in me and, and made me feel really supported and um, connected to the program without it ever, you know, stepping foot um, in the in the organisation. So I really felt that that sense of care and um, an understanding about what I can bring and, and where my best footy um, is in terms of um, going forward at Melbourne. You mentioned the D's fans. They would be probably familiar with how you are on the field. Do you want to give us any insight on what you're like off the field? Um, yeah, I'm just a pretty down-to-earth person. Um, yeah, I try and be as competitive as I can um, on game day and play to a standard that yeah, I expect and um, yeah, something that you guys can obviously hopefully be proud of. Um, but away from the game, I'm just a... Um, Simple dude, um, got a couple of dogs, just like the simple things, love traveling, um, study away from the game, um, try not to take things yeah, too seriously and trying to have perspective on life. So um, yeah, that's, that's me. I don't try and overcomplicate things too much and um, we'll try and hopefully um, enjoy the process as well. Well, when we made the announcement that you joined the Ds yesterday, they were all very keen. Do you have any message for the members who are excited to see you in the red and blue next season? Oh, I'm just as keen. So, um, yeah, it, look, I'm, I'm really excited. I feel generally, I think it's probably coming across, I'm quite nervous, still probably overwhelmed, um, as I'm sure I, I, I um, integrate in. You'll see my personality come through, hopefully in, in due course. And um, yeah, I'm just really overwhelming sense of gratitude and, and um, yeah, ex, you know, excitement. You know, Melbourne's a, a, a club with lots of rich, rich history and um, I'm looking forward to making um, an impact um, next year. Well, thank you so much for the chat and welcome again. Thank you.